Greetings to you, dear traders, and you're watching the Daily Market Review with me, financial analyst of Grand Capital Company, Sergey Elgin. And our daily heading is dedicated as traditional to the technical notes of Forex majors. And so let's start our review from the first pair. It will be true denials of Euro and US dollar. Yeah, we have enough interesting review for today. It's uh, let's let's make it. So uh, let's. Uh, see what I have here with the graphs year and US dollar okay the setback of uh, Tuesday's high at 1.3284 keeps the action within a bull pan and bull wedge continuation pattern Tuesday's spinning top candles strengthens resistance at 1.3284 and 1.3297 resistance area and more weakness below 1.3204 is anticipated to test at the April 27th intra wave higher low at 1.3157, as Tuesday's high at 1.3284 becomes a potential euro bull failure. Confirmation of a bull failure would be achieved on the break below 1.3157, bringing the 1.3104 low into focus. Only a fresh wave of euro bull pressure would manage to force a break through 1.32. 84 and 97 opening two wave equality targets at 1.3316 and 1.3338 weekly chart of uh, euro and US dollar trend is is bullish okay next pair intraday analysis of US dollar and uh, Japanese yen Upside risk to 80.77 has been created after finding support at 79.64 on Tuesdays. However, the rally is considered corrective in nature while projected resistance at 81.13 caps. And uh, US dollar bearers will look to the fence 80.77 result resolutely. Uh, a push through support at 79.94 is required to expose the 79.64 low once more. And no longer term US dollar bears are still on course for downside targets at 79.34 and 78.95. Weekly chart of US dollar and Swiss uh, and uh, Japanese yen trend is bearish. Okay, in today analysis of uh, Great Britain pound and US dollar. Mm -hmm. A recovery back towards Monday's 8 months high at 1.6302 is on the cards. Following Tuesday's rally of uh, 1.6187, minor resistance at 1.6275 would be the last line of defense protecting the 1.6302 high, fitting in an uptrend extension towards a one year bear resistance line at 1.6321 and the important uh, 260 week falling moving average at 1.6480. A setback below 1.6187 mm, would extend corrective weakness towards. Uh, 1.6144 and 1.6076. Uh, however, the powerful uh, medium term Great Britain pound uptrend is likely to limit broader consolidation to the 1.6000 level. Weekly chart of Great Britain pound and US dollar trend is bullish. Yes, next pair internet nails of US dollar and of course Swiss franc. Uh, what I have here, the strong recovery of Tuesday's low at uh, 0.9043 is expected to extend the buff resistance at 0.9099. Tuesday's uh, US dollar bear trap low at 0.9043 keeps the two month bear pen and continuation pattern intact. And the uh, push above uh, 0.9099 would open the April 27 lower intra wave lower high at 0 0.9134 once more 
only a reversal below 0.9043 would put US dollar bears in control, exposing April slow at 0.9002. Weekly chart of US dollar and Swiss rank trend is range. Uh, next pair and last pair for today it will be intraday analysis of Australian dollar and US dollar. So, mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Uh, to use this weakness brings the short term Australian dollar bear flag support line at 1.0261. Back into the immediate picture. Uh, the important April 11 reaction low at 1.02. 26 is also vulnerable as a break below 1.0226 would create additional downside risk to 1.0045 and parity this week. Regaining uh, ground above 1.0407 is required to provide respite, although only a move above 1.0436 would suggest a return to the April 27 peak at uh, 1.0476. Weekly chart of Australian dollar and US dollar trend is range. That's uh, all my dear traders for today. It was means to the financial analyst of Grand Capital Company, Sergey Lin. For more additional information, uh, analytic information, you can visit our website. It's uh, www.grandcapital.net. I wish you the fair trends and goodbye and good luck.